Hello students. For this tutorial video, I will show you how to acquire a Digication portfolio from a Digication template that has been provided by your instructor. First and very important is that you log into Colab. It is very important to log into Colab to connect to your Digication portfolio for a couple of reasons that we'll get to later. But from Colab, I select the section where I will be using the Digication portfolio, Spanish 1060 Section 7. From here, I scroll down on the left hand side, which is the menu. From menu, I select ePortfolio. Here, I then select Launch Digication ePortfolio. You get a Welcome to Digication page. This Digication splash page is the bridge between Digication and Colab. From here, we select the green circle plus icon. Then we select the template that has been shared by your instructor. We will select use this template. Depending on your previous experience with Digication, you may have other templates that you've used in the past. We will disregard these because we're creating a new template for this particular course. If you're totally new to Digication, you will only have the option to create new portfolio based on this template. So everyone should click create new portfolio based on this template. From here, you'd like to title your portfolio with your preferred name, what your teacher and what your peers may call you. So I'll call this the student portfolio. From here, I select create. Since this portfolio contains a lot of instruction slides that are heavy with text, this creation process may take a minute or two. Okay, once the the portfolio finishes the creation process, the portfolio will appear. This is now your portfolio that you've made from the template. From here, you will go to the top right portfolio actions menu, the three horizontal lines at the top. We will select the second option, which is Publish Pages. Since all of the pages are in draft form, it's essential to publish them. From here, we will, we will, we will select Continue. But first, I'd like to point out a couple of things. This portfolio is set to private, but it's also shared with the students in your Colab class as well as the teacher. Since the, one of the reasons of the portfolio is to engage with your peers, it's essential to have the course also have access to your portfolio. Later, if you would like, you can change the settings um, to be more public if that's something that you're into. But for now, private to me, shared with the particular collab that I use to start and start Digication and do the creation process. Select continue. We do not have to rename the, the portfolio. We have a URL for it, all of these things. So we will save these settings. And again, the permissions and share. The portfolio is private, but it's also shared with the teacher and the students from this collab section. So that's what we want to see. Very important. Save settings. So now your portfolio is created and it has been shared with the correct people. So if we go back to the Digication splash page and refresh the page, we will see that our student portfolio has now been shared with the course. As students create their portfolios, more, more icons will appear below so students can interact with each other's portfolio. So this is how you acquire 
a portfolio from the template that your teacher provides for you.